Hello again. Right, this one today really is scraping the barrel of cupboards. We've got some ready rolled phyllo pastry. We've got half a head of garlic. Got some leftover onion jam. I've got some ropio broccoli heads. Some slightly uh, graying mushrooms. Couple of red chilies. I've got three large courgettes, okay? So this is gonna be the big thing we're gonna use, the courgettes. I have here some quinoa. Yes, that sounds a little bit posh and middle class. That's fine. You can have couscous if you like. It could be cooked, just simple rice. Anything that's just a bit starchy, carbohydrate-y. Here, I've got some halloumi and I've got some feta. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fry my halloumi off. It's vegetarian and this is all about using up stuff, but still trying to be authentic, make things taste nice, make sure that they're lovely and delicious. That was the worst bit of paper tearing ever. I'm gonna blame the, the kitchen roll, not me. Now the best thing to do with halloumi is drain it, you dry it, okay? Because it's kept in like a nice salty brine solution, but you don't want that on it, okay? Because frying it, making it crispy, you don't want it nice and wet, all right? And then, Mushrooms, just gonna take the stalks off. We're gonna keep them quite chunky and whole, so you've got texture going on. I'm gonna chop the chili, stick that in. I'm gonna keep that to one side, so that's a red chili. That's all done. Gonna fry my halloumi. Good splash of oil. Halloumi goes in, dried. I'm gonna get a nice, even, lovely brown color on it. Garlic cloves, use four, five. I'm just gonna crush it, okay? Palm of your hand, or the flat of a knife. Just give it a squeeze, remove the skin. You can hear that halloumi frying, all right? What you want to do is wait for that water to evaporate and it just starts getting this lovely golden caramelization on it. I love halloumi cheese. It's not massive in flavor, but the one thing about halloumi is texture. I mean, me and Beth call it boingy cheese. Give another piece of that kitchen roll just to drain it on when it comes off. The next big thing is these courgettes. You could dice courgettes up and fry them off, except this way, I want to get a high yield out of them, so I'm going to cut them in half and I'm going to grate them, all right? I'm going to salt them rather than cook them. So you can do it on the coarse grater, and this is going to provide that lovely kind of meaty texture, all right? Because of the way that it cooks and the way that it sits and holds, that's exactly what you want. So you can get a nice colour on this halloumi. Right, halloumi comes out, it's got a nice colour on it. Right, okay, courgettes all grated, a little bit a rock salt and just squeeze it in. And what that's gonna do is draw all the moisture out, okay? And then we're gonna squeeze all that water out. And we're gonna leave it for literally five minutes. That's it, that's all it needs, left to one side. In the meantime, in the pan that we fried the halloumi in, I'm gonna put a little splash of olive oil. And then into that, I'm gonna put the mushrooms and the garlic and just sweat that down a little bit. And then into that, we're gonna add the broccoli, a bit of chili that's in it. Everything else goes in, okay? Keeping it fresh and vibrant like this means that the vegetables will stay green, chunky, delicious. Now everything's just about cooked. The broccoli, still crunchy, still crispy. The mushrooms have softened a little bit. We're just gonna pull it to the side, turn the heat off. The courgettes, softened it. Colander, pan, clean tea towel, okay? Courgettes, into the tea towel. Just rinse this bowl out, so I'm gonna need it. And then with this tea towel, you just gently squeeze out a load of that liquid lip and that's the salt and then we empty the courgettes back into this bowl so that's going to be part of our pie filling lip so that's going to be the main component of it i'm going to add quinoa and everything that we've just fried and cooked i'm going to break up the halloumi to chunks about that sort of size okay quite big because you want these nice little nuggets of boingy cheese right behind me fresh herbs so here I've got some mint and some oregano. Delicious. You're gonna give a little spark and a hit to this pie filling. So that will stir in. And then into that, spoonful of this onion chutney. It's kind of like the chutney you'd have with cheese. I mean, it is the chutney that I have with cheese. Mix it together. So this is now gonna be a lovely, luscious pie filling vegetarian but all of this can be swapped out you haven't got to use all of it you haven't got to use any of it to make the pie i'm going to use phyllo pastry ready bought i'm going to use that as my pie dish so as you roll it out in here i've got some melted butter pastry brush brush on top of the pastry okay then put another phyllo on the top and then maybe one more okay 
So do it three layer phyllo pastry. A little sprinkle of the cracked black pepper. Then I'm gonna lay that into my pie dish. The lovely thing about phyllo pastry is that it's messy. You can make it messy. This is not about perfect layered pies looking immaculate. This is just something to hold everything in place basically. So repeat the process again. There you go, okay, so we've now lined our pie. And into that, we pack in our pie filling. It's quite a dense and thick filling. We're gonna crumble the feta onto the top, and then on top of that, a bit more of the phyllo pastry. But we're just gonna do one at a time here, okay? So you brush it with butter, and then just kind of scrunch it into place. This is not about making it look pretty. Just try and cover everything up. This phyllo pie could be anything. It could be leftover bolognese mix, cottage pie, loads and loads of roasted carrots, all sorts of different stuff. And that's the lidlet. So you just squish it all in now. That's simple, right? And a little bit of the rock salt on the top, a little bit of cracked black pepper. Then that is gonna go into a preheated oven. This is at 180 degrees. And we're gonna bake it for around about 25 to 30 minutes. See you in a bit. Half an hour later, it looks great, doesn't it? Crispy, crunchy. Let's see what the middle is like. <laughs> Tell you what, I am very happy with that. Crispy, crunchy, phyllo pie. Full of lovely flavours, banging.